Let's create some views that feature the different building systems. We can start by creating building section views to get a closer look at how the building is constructed. Let's use the section tool and cut a section that runs in the north-south direction through the building. Click on the arrowhead that appears at the end of the section marker and the section view will open. Let's go back to the floor plan view and show you that you can flip the view direction of the section by clipping by clicking these arrows that appear near the marker. Now let's find that section view in the project browser and give it a meaningful name. We can also cut sections in 3D views using a special tool called the section box. Let's begin by adjusting our 3D view, changing the level of detail to fine, and changing the visual style to shaded with edges view. Next, let's duplicate this view and give it a new name. Then we'll go to its view properties and scroll down to the extent section. We'll turn on the section box property and a blue box appears around our model that will let us clip away sections that we want to hide. You can use the blue arrows that appear on each face to push or pull the sides to expose portions of the model and create a 3D section view. We commonly create special 3D views to feature specific building systems. For example, the structural systems that make up the building skeleton. Again, let's duplicate a 3D view and name it Building Skeleton. Then we'll use the VG shortcut to open the visibility graphics overrides and turn off all the visibility of all the model elements. Next, we turn on just the floors and the structural columns. This view shows just the structural elements and will be useful for reviewing our structural design as it later develops.